So, so I'm not gonna lie, I used to be super materialistic. Or you still are. No, I'm not. And oh. the reason why is I, I never really told anybody this. I mentioned it on my podcast like a month ago, but I was super materialistic. But then February of last year, I got humbled. Oh, oh. You, you turned because, 30. Because, um... <laughs> you turned 30. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you why I got humbled. I'm still single. So my my <laughs> second, you remember I told you my first fiance went to prison and the second one did. Yeah. So the What's the second one going for? You were engaged to him too? No, we weren't engaged. Okay. Bro. The feds Bro. literally just knocked my door down and oh, came through our house and um they were actually looking for him did he go to j6 what is that <laughs> what is that she's not gonna know uh, um All okay right, so they're not mind. yeah they they, they 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 they're doing fraud um and so you oh. uh, not you but i mean the guys what did the second guy get arrested for they said that he robbed the j two jewelry stores. Yo, bro, what the fuck yo, you doing, bro? bro? I'll tell you this, man. I guess I, no, you know what it is? You I like to feel protected. I like a man that, like, ain't, nobody's going to mess with me. You like street niggas. You like street niggas. Wait, what? Not no more. Because uh, cause my man now, he's, like, ex-army, like, about his business into crypto, teaching me things. Like, he's not into that type of life. Oh. So, so I'm, I'm trying something different, guys. So only okay. after pray, pray the chaos. Pray. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yes. so, what, so okay. So you, you said you got humbled in February of last year. So, okay. They, they knocked your door down. That means they have a search warrant automatically right. or an arrest warrant. Right. Which one was it? Both. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, uh, who came in? Um, From two different... Um... What did the jacket say? Uh, I, have like, I have like selective memory. I try to forget those type of things. I don't know, but I just know it's from two different states. Like states? they flew in specifically from two different states for him. But it was Bro. feds. Yeah. That's Damn, they flew in. Wait, like they flew in from DC and, yeah, and yeah, Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah, that, that, That's fine. But th there was another case office that did it. But like, yeah. it, So was it FBI? Yeah. Uh, and then was it, you said another agent? Was it? No, it wouldn't be DEA. It's probably maybe Homeland. That came? Yeah. Yeah. ATF. I think. Oh, well, they robbed it with guns? I'm not saying he robbed anybody. Okay, well, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> sorry. They, they robbed the jewelry store, right? That's what they said. Allegedly. Okay, Which maybe it was ATF because that's a firearm happened, crime. But... Okay, all right. How did we even get here? It, <laughs> yeah, so two guys she got, but got arrested by the Well, press. basically, they took a lot of money and jewelry from me, so it made me realize... Like money, like all that material stuff is is not everything. Well, no, yeah. you know if what it I'm was purchased correctly, it would have been fine. It is. Who bought you that? Who bought you that uh, necklace? Took it? Who bought you that? Oh, my ex fiance. Why are you still wearing it? You bought it? it? That's pretty. The wire fraud yeah, or the jewelry store? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> you got a man as an ex army guy, crypto learning, big guy, taking care of you, and. You still wearing that shit? It's Come pretty. on, bro. Stop. She's Take not materialistic. Off, <laughs> Yo. I'm not materialistic. That's all that So the way you wearing that? <laughs> yeah, but don't you think it's disrespectful? <laughs> Just like real talk, real talk, isn't Yo, it? Don't nigga. you think it's disrespectful? Like, as a woman, if you found out that you were dating a guy and he went shopping and, like, the girl took him for one of the... You know how sometimes women go shopping with their boyfriends and they, they say, oh, wear this, right? And they buy them something, maybe. Um... Wouldn't you get mad if your boyfriend was wearing a shirt that his ex bought him? Absolutely. But yeah. the thing about it is, I did not put that he bought me that until you asked me that. It's not like when I when I put a shirt on, oh, this person got me that. You know what I'm saying? My memory is not that. You so, should pawn that too. But so you let know me ask you're not. You won't pawn that one. Yeah, you won't pawn that one. <laughs> Yo, Chad's gonna find her ex-boyfriend in here. I already know. Yeah. Chad's gonna uh, find the ex-boyfriend's. Uh, oh my wait, God. Wait, I just gotta ask. Was it the wire fraud guy or the jewelry robber? There Which one? Who bought you that? That <laughs> necklace? Found one. Yeah. Which one? What the fuck? The niggas already found one. Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> Wait, so what about what about if a guy gets you like a car or something? You right, can't you drive like sell the car. Like, 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 no, nah, he car. got me. He got me a Rolls like Royce. Immature. He cars, got me a Rolls Royce, but when the Rolls feds Royce? took him, they took that too. Right, I'm saying like <laughs> about what your, 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 your new boyfriend shouldn't worry about whoever got whatever in the past because no, they it's should. Mine now. They should. Yeah. No, they, they should. should not. So okay, not a question. Would it be better Since he bought me a would've... car, you expect for my ex to be like, oh, you can't, you can't drive, drive that drive car that anymore. Car. Your ex well, got you that car. What I'm saying is that there's there's sentimental value attached with everything, and so it's just it's the same reason why people get upset with their partners or you know whoever they're dating or talking to for talking to their ex, right? Because yeah, the right. past is the past. And so anytime you're going to be 
whether you want to admit it or not, like subconsciously, if you're driving a car, your ex got you, or you're wearing a piece of jewelry, or you're wearing a shirt, you're going to be thinking about your ex. And that's like, not that's true. not romantic. See, that's I don't think that's true. true. But what I do agree with you is, I believe in energies. Mm -hmm. So like, I believe sometimes you need to be out with the old and with the new. Like, yeah. you, like I believe in that. So I, I agree with you in, in some that way with that. Yeah. But some things I really don't, I like when you got, just, I'm not saying I got a lot of stuff, but like, you don't remember where everything, like for example, do you know where you got that shirt from <clears throat> this shirt yeah where'd you get it i bought this at dillard's what about your pants um i bought these i just took the tags off i bought these at dillard's also okay so that's relatively new because you said you got the tags off this yeah. is so but i have old. a really bad habit of buying clothes and then <laughs> keeping them in my closet for a really long time and not taking the tags off right because I mean, we're women, right? We go no, shopping, right. and so I have a lot of stuff in my closet that just has tags on it because I get bored and I go shopping. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. See, this is from so long ago. My memory is so bad. I don't Bruh. I didn't remember. Oh, you know where you get But that. you never get to put it on, beautiful. though. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. I just got to know. Was it the jewelry guy or the wire front guy that got it? <laughs> I don't think that... I should say. It's probably the wire fraud guy. Yeah. She said it was a while ago. So. Hey, okay. Yo, yeah. Fed, you forgot something. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, the question was <laughs> men are feminine. Case is done, so. no, nowadays, uh, how does that ma manifest for you, I guess, in real life? So, it's some funny shit, man. I, funny. I couldn't actually relate to a lot of what you said, just to be honest. <laughs> um, you I've, Korea? Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, the one thing, like, I'm in SAG after I've done a music video or a commercial with Paul McCartney, so. I kind of understand like that kind of lifestyle, but in terms of men, like um, I I just can't like I first of all like I don't like to talk too badly about my exes because at one point I feel like I love them, and it's important to keep that kind of privacy. Um, you know, there's some level of respect that you should have yeah. for your previous partner. Except when they got hemorrhoids. Um, <laughs> no, that guy's cool and great. Uh, um, oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't, like, have a serious relationship. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, okay. Um, right. But I also think that, like, you can't really tell who's a high-value man or a high-value woman off the bat. Like, the looks are all superficial. They're all... Like, you could rent a Lamborghini, pick a girl up, and then she'll, you know, like you or whatever. To be honest, like, I went on a date last night with this, like, um, dinner with, with this, like, Colombian guy. Really sweet. Um, matched on Raya, but um, he was Raya. a... Oh, good But he, he was a, para, like, a paraplegic. Like, he was, um, like, Aww. you know, he For the audience, real quick, because they might not know, Raya's an app for celebrities, celebrities. to meet to meet girls. Uh... Yeah, like for a girl, you could just get on there if you're pretty. But like as a dude, you gotta have some kind of like you gotta be on TV or be have a social media presence or whatever to get on there. You gotta get accepted to get on there. But I think these days, like like you said, it's so hard to find like a quality man or like that's what you're looking for, right? And you really want to make sure that yeah. that person's gonna be with you. And I'm not talking about like be good to you now. I'm talking about like I see my patients. They're 60, 70. They've turned psychotic, they have lupus, neuropsychiatric, and oh. their partner still visits every single day, takes right. care of them, you know, suctions they're, if they're in the ICU on the suction, bed. Suctions, all right. Chris, <laughs> that's what you took from that? Yeah. Um, and so these are the important <laughs> things, like who's going to stick around, who's going to be there for you and your children and the rest of your family. I don't care if you buy me a car, like you could save that money and like put it in an account for the kids. The question is, college. are you going to go out that Columbia guy again? <laughs> nope. Yeah, I am. I, you are? I, yeah. You said he's a par para what? Parent. Well, he's he's just disabled. Okay, man. like he was in a wheelchair? But, yeah, but he was really, really cool. How do you get on nice. Raya? What does he do to get on Raya? Um, you don't have to be a celebrity to be on Raya. You just for, have to... For the men, you do. You have to, you gotta, you gotta have something Wait. as a dude. For the women, no. For really? the guys, you do. Yeah. What does he yeah. do? You gotta do something. Really? As a guy. Yeah, bro. Because you gotta... I don't actually, like, know completely something about... Uh, you should ask. <laughs> I don't like to probe about a guy's... Okay. Um, well, he's doing something then if he's on there. Is because what I'm like, trying to say. I feel like a lot of guys are pressured to be like this perfect, like rich, like put together, like 
know exactly what they're doing and it's like there shouldn't be that pressure like nobody knows what they're doing at like at this age or even older but you're on raya yeah. that's what it's all about <laughs> oh, <right>. you're <laughs> on raya <laughs> yeah. yo, you already know yo sorry question uh this is random Raya does a lot of the work for you it, this is very random mm-hmm. but uh are you into bdsm <laughs> yeah. um wait for, for... i wouldn't say like um, that's like not my like, oh she is okay. yeah. Yeah. No. Bro, <laughs> she is, what is that i'm looking at your hand and uh looks a bit bruised up oh Ow. that's actually from my cat <laughs> oh, okay. a rough oh. cat okay it's a rough cat that's somebody that's something that someone into bdsm would say right yeah. <laughs> what yeah. is bdsm yeah. Yeah. Bondage. bondage bondage man i like that like, you, know, you know you know like, I'm, like i love that type of stuff we know <laughs> like, 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 you, you, nobody likes There's to be chosen. You're so wearing the same ass and breaks into the house. Yeah. I love that. Shut up, bitch. Get on your knees. Yeah. <laughs> That's me, though. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of men aren't going to do that these days, though. Hate to say it. The whores have ruined that, too. Oh, and I've also been the Facts. only girl that, yeah, like, like pays too. She'll say, choke me. I'm like, uh, like. Every single date waiver. I go on, <laughs> I try to pay for Oh, my God. And guys would be like, a girl has never done that for me. Wait, you pay on the first date Every single time I try, yeah. Uh, I feel like guys will take advantage of women like that, though. Oh, she's paying? I mean, I think it's important to show them that, like, you're there for the experience of hanging out with them, of spending quality time with them. That's really sweet of you. Like, not, like... I mean, you shouldn't be wasting your time to get a free meal. Like, you could do that with the promoters here. I agree. I agree with you. Like, it's very easy. Like, if you're a pretty girl, if you, like... You can get a free meal all the time. That's not the issue. When you talk, your time, I have hope in humanity again. No, your, your time <laughs> but unfortunately, is valuable. You're, you're, you're yeah. way different. Also, like, keep in mind that she's a higher earner. Yeah. So for her, it doesn't make sense to go out with dudes she don't like. Nope. And What's time, the point? Time is limited, too. Because, mm-hmm. like, what, you work, what, 70 hours a week, probably? At least? It depends. Okay. A little less. A little less now? But, yeah, t- t- time is everything. Who you spend your time with, who you surround yourself yep. with. And that's quality. It's Higher not about IQ. like who yeah. gives you a expensive jacket because. And she's also thirty one. No offense. Yeah, thirty one. A yeah. jacket for everybody. Uh, okay, fair enough. Right. So the question was. So you are gonna go out with the so, Colombian? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so so he's in a wheelchair then. Yeah. All right. Oh. He still drives. He's, he, he drove me home. She's yeah. supposed to he could drive? Yeah. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, Wait. He has, like, okay. cars, he has this crazy cool handicap. car that, like, the ramp comes out, yeah. and then he goes, and then it, like, uh, he right. can drive. We need more women like yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'll tell you this, 99% of girls want to go out with a dude that, I mean, he got some status, though. He's doing something. Yeah. yeah. He's well, on I, I really don't, I think, I don't really know what he does. He's probably I don't like to make guys feel, like, pressured. Show me his profile. a lot of them lie to me. Show me his profile. You really want to see? You can see it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, um... No, hey, man. Hey, kudos to you. That's great. If you're doing that... Most girls wouldn't do it. I mean, cute a thousand. Most of y'all have to... Pay, y'all, y'all would not date a she guy that's a in a wheelchair, bro. a great conversationalist. Like, super sweet. Like, I don't know. It's like a new perspective. I'm sure he is. Good, good, good. Wait, good. but how are you gonna smash? That's a good... She doesn't care about that's that That's a good either. question. No, no, no. She does care, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this, bro. Fuck <laughs> asking the real <laughs> questions. Yo, Let's go. Yo, go. <laughs> bro, Asians are freaks, my nigga. I swear to God, bro. Look, oh. they act quiet on camera. <laughs> uh-huh. By those doors, BDSM, all that shit, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, shout out to uh, Barbados. Yep. <laughs> Barbados? Oh, my I think God. You mean, I think you mean China. Nigga, I, I mean, bro. in general, man. Nigga. In general. Thing, so, uh, thing, so in general. I don't know. I don't know. I know... I know... From a medical perspective, as a doctor, man, uh, you a freak. Next, I don't. All right. Okay. Someone, someone else wanted to say something. But maybe it's not important to you, though. I nah. mean, no, I'm saying. I mean, if you, it, it is, sounds like you're more focused like a lifelong on lifelong partner. You know what I mean? It sounds yeah. like for a lifelong partner, you're looking for someone that's going to be there. And I'm not saying that sex isn't important because it is. So, and I don't mind for you being though, there too, is yeah. it? Would you rather be with somebody that's a paraplegic that you would? have a lifelong loyal partner and friendship with even if you didn't have a great sex life yeah if he was my best friend yeah. then he was like Man, she doesn't want him to leave could talk <laughs> <laughs> she wants a companion so, uh, oh, no. the but, but wouldn't it be fair to say because i've noticed <laughs> yeah, girls, girls are really, and this isn't just for you by the way this is for this is for, this is for everybody on the panel because because i've noticed that like girls are okay with doing this and this girl actually alluded to this other show um like yeah you got your lifelong companion etc but you know, typically women put guys in boxes, right? So, like, if a guy's, like, a good talker and he, like, you know, he'll listen to your emotional stuff, 
Like you put him in that friend zone. Then you got a guy that's attractive and physically arousing yeah. that you're having sex with. Then you maybe he's a bad boy that wears a ski mask when he has sex with you, right? Or re- robs jewelry stores. I don't know. And then you got the other guy that is, you know, has money. Maybe he's boring, but like he pays for things and he's like a good provider. Like girls typically, if they're attractive enough, can easily compartmentalize men in these different categories and then use them for their utility. I think mm-hmm. ideally... Girls would prefer to have one man that just has it all, that's attractive, has the money, the yeah. status, all Ideally. that shit. I, but that's very yeah. difficult to find in one man. I dated a guy in Miami who had it all. Like, um, How'd you fuck that up then? I, I We were seeing each other for like months, um, and I finally asked the question, like, hey. Um, what, are what, what are we? What are we? Yeah. We've been wow. seeing each other for a while. <laughs> yeah. And I guess he, did, he, he wanted to let me down easy because he was like, oh, um... Uh, Because we ended up hanging out, and he was like, let's still be friends. And then we went to uh, some kind of party during Art Basel. And he's like, yeah, that's uh, my girlfriend. But apparently they've known each other for 10 years. She looks like she's like 45. What the hell? Uh, So So he had a chick all along? No, no, no. I don't think they're actually dating. I think he just wanted me to, like, not feel bad. Uh, He was like, oh, I'm getting closer with somebody. But I don't know. I don't know. So he was your typical modern man. He was uh, something, you know. Uh, I I definitely wait. think he was a keeper. Wait. No. Is he on Instagram? <laughs> Blue chat mark? Uh, no, he's very private about his life, but he's a huge, like, he goes to Congress to, like, testify about stuff. And oh, oh, wow. No. Who is he? he? <laughs> somebody else. I can't, he I had can't a wife. disclose. Probably had a wife. No, he's divorced Girl, now. I know you ain't paid for the first date. <laughs> I looked oh. at that one. You did? Oh, oh that, that, rest, one, that, rest, that one. That one. That one was at like a machine. <laughs> my case is arrested. What does he testify about in Congress? Um, like you keep it general if you want. Don't like yeah. You can say like about what generally? Like tech. Oh, like big tech. So is he, is he, is he is. a tech executive? Yeah. Oh, oh he is. <laughs> like yeah. a major tech company. Yeah. Okay. And he lives in Miami. <laughs> yeah. He tells me down. how hard dating in Miami is, and I think it's true. Yeah, people are just looking for superficial interactions, superficial. Yeah. Question for you: it, um, You said he had it all. W- would you have been okay with being like, um, like a second or third girlfriend, or you you wanted exclusivity? I think Concubine. if I think if he said yeah. like I. I want to explore like other relationships as well, but I want to keep seeing you. I've been like, okay. Okay. So if he had been open about it, you would have been. Yeah. Okay. But he kind of like was, I guess, being deceptive a bit. I don't. I don't think so. I think he just like recently blew up, and he just wants to enjoy his life. And I don't blame him. You know, we're still friends. Like we still talk, and I I try to maintain that with everybody that I okay. do. Okay. Okay. Basically, he wanted to let her down easy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, he he definitely had other women. If you're saying that he was yeah. a catch like that, where he was attractive and he had money, etc., yeah. he, he's gonna have uh, women. Which is, yeah. I tell girls that all the time. Like, rarely are you gonna find a guy that's attractive and has everything together and he doesn't have a girl already. Like, yeah. I mean, like he lives on the islands. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Guys, sure it is time. For rumble time. Oh, we going rumble? <laughs> rumble time. It is time. Now okay. we can come say whatever we want. Say yeah, come on over. Want. Yeah, come on over to Rumble, guys. Yes. Rumble.com slash fresh We got uh twenty five thousand y'all in here, man. Yep. So uh, come on over, guys. Um. Very interesting panel we got here. Uh, yeah, you, you are different, man. Yeah. <laughs> so something's not right. There was something else someone else was <laughs> trying to say here. Uh, someone else had saw someone wanted to. No? All right. We're still on the question. Okay. Uh, I think you're next, right? Yeah. What's the question? The question is, how do men today, well, I guess our, you could say their attributes show that they're not really masculine men anymore? How do they show that they're more feminine, you would say? society am i the only one that is marrying this panel i feel like i'm the only i haven't been de- well i have actually most of my life <laughs> but um i know according to a lot of my girlfriends they said um like going dutch i think that's oh half and half mm. yeah 50 50 yeah that's a big one that's all right one. i will that's totally. You know, yeah. I it, well, let me let me say this because I know you guys are kind of giving her a hard time about going 50-50. No, it's fine. Um, but uh, and, but I I do want to because here's the thing that I've noticed about girls when they go 50-50. they typically the man has potential when they do that. Are these guys that you're going out with like higher net worth and or people that are wildly successful? And you say, you know what, going 50-50 or paying for it on the first date won't be an issue because I know that this individual is capable of paying for a date. Is that why you go? Or are you just kind of saying, fuck it, YOLO? No, it's Korean culture to fight over the bill. 
Am I right? Yeah. It oh. Oh. And it's all about like you know that. if you're even for women. Of course, for everyone. But okay. it's between women. We don't fight the bill over for like me. the boyfriends because well, um, uh, in Korea, know. Korean boyfriends tend to pay for everything for the girl. Mm. And we've been taught, at least like from my Korean family, if a guy buys you dinner, right, at least offer to pay for the drinks or buy them dessert. Yeah, but, you, you okay. have to do something and like, like, yeah, you can never expect things like. Yeah, but fighting for the bill is within family or like close friends. You but don't I do, do it, it on a date. I do it anyway because I was born in Korea. <laughs> I also think too that there's a lot of women that just use men to get free meals, yep. and so not yep. that I go out on a lot of dates because I'm really busy. You know, I mean, I work a lot, so it's not like, you know, I'm out <laughs> dating all the time, but. I think that if you're not planning on pursuing something with a man or you're, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not a fan of casual sex, but like a lot of people do sleep together on the first date. If you're not going to sleep with somebody and you're not, um, you know, sexually attracted to them and you have no desire to continue things further, then you should offer to pay because I okay. just think that, yeah. I just think that like a lot of men, and I know women who have done this, like I literally know women that are like, I'm on Bumble and I'm gonna literally just go out with a new guy every single night. And there's people that post about this stuff on TikTok, like these girls that have yeah. another night. She's gonna get kidnapped. Yeah, <laughs> but like they go out and they just see how many mm -hmm. dates they can go on because they want someone to pay for their food. Yeah, yeah. I, I just Some think it's like, like a game. you should be yeah. honest. And that's, that's why I don't mind like paying on a first date yeah. is because if I don't like somebody, especially yeah. like I don't, a lot of times impression. men think like, oh, I bought her dinner. So she's gonna let me sleep with exactly. her. And it's like. I would rather just draw the line, and I've done that before, where I'm just like, you know, I'm gonna get the check, I'm not that interested, bye. I never want to look like someone who's expected to do something or to like be pressured into so something. So that's a good point. Um, yes. Real quick, for you, because you, you guys are okay with doing it, so would, would it be fair to say that you guys pay when either A, you don't like the individual, and just want to cut ties without any expectation? I just always try to pay. For or B, like they have potential, and you're like, okay, this guy's not a loser. I'm okay with paying for the first date in this situation. It doesn't matter who doesn't it matter. is. I don't have that you much do anyway. time. I don't have that much time, honestly. Like I, okay. I can't go out every night. I have to prioritize my career. And gotcha. So, like, so the men that you I go out with are always hot. You're always interested in them anyway. So it's like. Um, I like to be diverse about things. Like I, my last ex was. Um, but I mean, you have interest in them, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like yeah. if you're going out with them, since time is limited, etc. You're not like one of these girls that like just serially date to get shit. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Fair enough. That's why. Well, right. I think it's also a way to show guys too, if you are interested and you don't have a lot of time, like especially as a public figure, you don't have time to like, you know, be going out on dates all the time. Yeah. I'm super busy and you are too, obviously. But Elise like. offering? No, if you, uh, if you pay, it's like, okay, well, I'm interested in, eventually you want to be with somebody that is your, not necessarily your equal, right? But you're together. You're going to have something together. <laughs> And so you should be able to go out and have a nice night out with a with your boyfriend or with your girlfriend, and then either person put your card down and say, "Okay, I've got this." Right? Like, you you should be. It shouldn't even be something you think about because if you truly love somebody, you don't even think twice about yeah. it. It's like, of course I'm gonna pay. It's not even the thought process of, oh, should I pay? Am I gonna get laid if I pay tonight? Is he gonna think I'm a feminist and I if think I pay? Miami like, has a very warped view yeah. of these things. And a lot of the time, if I meet guy friends here, I spend the entire night as a therapist. I'm like, look, <laughs> this guy's like about to cry and he's like, <laughs> This girl used me for a Gucci bag and then she left oh, me. Shit. No, and then wow. I have to tell him, like, you should not be buying women you barely know Gucci bags. Yeah. Yeah. And you should not buy them anyway. Like, <laughs> like, you, like you well, deserve so much yo, more than that, than I, to be a Gucci deserve, bag that's, wallet. That's, that's, my, that's mommy for yeah. you. Tell but me. it's like simp culture, you know? Blame OnlyFans and Instagram for that simp yeah. culture. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be. Like, they... I like I think guys should know their worth and not have to, you know, make up for it in material ways. Well, listen, yeah. you're a gem, but unfortunately, most women are not like you. Yeah. Okay, what about you? <laughs> so basically, I was going to say what she said mm. and what she said. So I'm going to like go off of what they said. Like, and I was reading the comments and a lot of people were like, go digger in the black. I mean, like, they line. Well, no. She, hold on. Just, she, she wearing black, too. Oh, she is. No, I'm pretty sure they were talking about me. Let's make this no very, way. let's make this no very way. clear. Just because somebody Girl, in my past bought me nice things does not mean I'm a gold digger. But that's you took what, it. That's what they chose to do. 
But <laughs> I'm like with the whole Valentine's Day thing. I'm the type of woman if I like you, <clears throat> I'm going all out. I'm talking about romantic rose petals, candlelight, dinner. You want me to rub your feet, your back. You want me to run your bath water. What's the song? Cater to you. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna cater to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Same thing with the 50-50. Yeah. If I really fuck with you, not on the first date, because how do you fuck with somebody that hard on the first date? But if I fuck with you, long, I'm buying you designer. I'm buying yeah. my man designer. I bought my man designer. I'm buying, oh, baby, you left your card. I got you. No problem. If I fuck with you, I'm going to show you that I fuck with you. That I'm not going to be thinking about, oh, is, am I going to pay for this? Is he going to yeah. pay for that? Because when you really fuck with somebody, like she said, you're not thinking about those things. Well, why designer, yeah. though? Like, it's a very f female thing to say, right? Right? Like, oh, I want designer this, designer that. Like, no, yeah. I don't know. Like, I honestly, if I like somebody and I'm not trying to sound trashy, <laughs> like, I don't care if we're eating. I don't like fast food. I, I don't want to gain weight. So I'm just giving it as an example. But I don't really care if we're going out to a nice restaurant or if we're eating Chipotle. Literally. Right? Like, and and, and that's where I'm at. I don't care if you want to eat Chipotle. And, and that's what I meant by I've been very humbled because, like, Stop with my man out. now, we could literally go to freaking yeah. Raising Canes and watch freaking The Boys yeah. on Netflix. And that is the best day ever. The Boys on Netflix? Yes. <laughs> you, the boys? you feel me? So that would be the best day ever. You know that one of the characters was made off of me. Really? really? Yeah, that Nazi chick. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, they oh, actually. Oh, my God. I swear to God. Stone okay, so there was an article that was written about how the Nazi girl that takes her cell phone out and is like a real bitch to everyone, just saying, um, it was made off of me. Liberty. And, uh, yeah. No, so no, the boys. Storm, no, it's her name is Stormfront. Stormfront. But her but her first name was Liberty when she was the Nazi. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm Laura. And so there's a there was an article. I think it was in the New Yorker yeah. New Yorker uh, magazine about how they created that character off of me. Wow. Yeah. All right. That's interesting. That's not like a good I love thing, that is show. it? <laughs> I don't know. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. I think that's cool. What about you? You see men today. It's all about perspective. How are they more feminine?